and it's a down payment on the world to come. It's a down payment and it's a proof that there is a new creation that has happened in your life. The old things have passed away. The oil is a type of the Holy Spirit. Notice that he came speaking another language. That dove, that olive oil branch in his, on his mouth represents the, the fact that he could speak another language. In other words, he was saying there's peace out there, Noah. That branch was saying there's peace out there. The storm is over. And when we learn to host the Holy Ghost, no matter what kind of storms we're going through, he can bring peace to us right in the midst of the storm. It's his job. And I want to host the Holy Ghost. I want to talk the language of the dove. I want to pray in that sweet prayer language. And many of you, hundreds of you perhaps, have never been filled and baptized in the Holy Ghost and ever spoke as the Spirit gives you the utterance. But when the dove of the Spirit fully comes, you, you, the Spirit touched you and you've been saved and the Spirit lives there. But when you get baptized in the Holy Ghost, He will bring an anointing upon your mouth and your lips and it will be a rest and it will be a refreshing and it will be a peace and it's a worship language and it's a prayer language and it empowers you to host the Holy Ghost. When we know not what we should pray as we ought, Romans 8 said, the Spirit Himself makes intercession through us. When we host the Holy Ghost. This stuff of, of acting like just going to church on Sunday is enough. It's not enough. It won't be transferred to your children and your children's children unless you have the presence of God. We've got to have more than a head knowledge. We've got to have more than talks on Sunday. We need the presence of God in our churches and in our service. with this, but I love Moses' attitude in Exodus 33. God said to him, my angels will go before you. It's time to go. Go forward. Move forward. My angels will go before you. And then he said, my promises are in you. It's going to happen. Go. But God said, but I'm not going because I'm so upset at those people dancing around that golden calf. You go. My angels going before you. My promise is in you. Go ahead, Moses. And Moses put on the brakes and stopped two and a half million people and said back to God in Exodus 33, if your presence does not go with us. We will not go. In other words, angels are wonderful. Promises are wonderful. Teaching of the word is wonderful. Head knowledge is awesome. Get all of it you can. But there is nothing that can take the place of the presence of of the Holy Spirit. The letter killeth. You can sit and hear somebody teach you the word until you're blue in the face and the letter kills, but it's the presence, it's the Spirit that makes it come alive. And we've got churches that teach the word, but our nation is going to hell because somebody's got to get in the presence with Him for them. And I can't find shortcuts. It still takes fasting. It still takes prayer. It still takes inconvenience on the flesh. It still takes hours alone with God. Hearing His voice. Welcoming and, and, and learning how to host the Holy Ghost because He has the answer. And as you... As you worship in that heavenly language, that anointing that comes on your mouth and your tongue and with stammering lips and an unknown tongue, will I speak to my people and this shall be a rest and a refreshing. As you host the Holy Ghost in worship, as you host the Holy Ghost in, in reading the Word and studying His letters, as you worship and host the Holy Ghost, He, he brings life. He brings the exposure of sin and inconsistencies in your own life. He, David ate the showbread and the showbread was called the bread of his presence. And he went out the next day and won an incredible battle because when, you, when you're in his presence, his presence brings strength for the battle. 
Some of you are in a battle and you just keep fighting in the flesh and fighting in the flesh. Fighting and you don't understand that victory is when you get in his presence. He'll help you. Be still and know that I am God. I can handle cancer. I can handle disease. I can handle financial difficulty. Come into my presence. Because if you get the power of my presence, you get the presence of my power. I don't know what you're facing, but I got good news for you. The Holy Ghost is going to be your helper and he's going to bring it to pass. Get up on your feet and shout a little bit. Hallelujah. I want some teenagers to shout. I want some college students to shout. I want some moms to shout. I want some dads to shout. The Holy Ghost. That's how. But I, I, I'm an alcoholic. How can I stop? The same Jesus that turned water into wine can turn wine back into water. Boy, that hit my soul. I feel like somebody's about to get free from something that has tormented you for years and years and years. How? The Holy Ghost. He's here. Come on, lift your hands and worship. No, you can't. But I'm going to tell you what happened to me when I was 16 years old. I got baptized in the Holy Ghost. And he began to pray through me in a heavenly language. And suddenly a weak, insecure, bashful, so bashful that I couldn't look you in the face, eyeball to eyeball. But that Friday night in Rocky Mount, North Carolina, God so filled me with baptism in the Holy Spirit. And I began to pray as the Spirit gave me the utterance, and it so transformed my life. And I was living in a cornfield in North Carolina, and God, through the Holy Spirit, started telling me, I've called you to preach. I'm going to use you. And how? How? The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Oh, good God, I, I don't have any money. I don't have any connections. I don't have any, I don't have any people. I don't have anybody wanting me to preach for. How? How? The Holy Ghost will open the doors. The Holy Ghost will connect you. The Holy, I believe there's people. Listen. I believe there's people who don't even like you that the Holy Ghost will make bless you just because his favor and anointing is on your life. And some of you are listening to me right now and you've been looking for a chance to get free from your past, your shame, And tonight, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of the living God, is touching your heart. And he's saying, if you'll surrender to me tonight, I'll, I'll overshadow you. In a haze of brilliance, suddenly your mind will be transformed. Your spirit, your soul, the old things will pass away. And behold, all things will. And how, how? The Holy Ghost. That's his ministry. He'll back up exactly what I'm telling you. And, and chains and addictions and bondages, they'll break. And you can be free and you can be forgiven. If you're in this room tonight, if you're at any of the other campuses,